She was at the Cannes Film Festival for this publicity shoot and um, at in Monaco, and uh, the, that morning found that there was an electricity strike at the hotel, so everything that she had was wrinkled, and she couldn't dry her hair, so a, a aid helped her style, sort of pull her hair back and stick some flowers in it, and the only dress that was unwrinkled was what one of her bridesmaids uh, jokingly referred to as the dreaded taffeta dress, this, <laughs> this very different than her usual simple style that had, she had posed on the m cover of McCall's um, spring pattern book. So it, there was this, this large floral and sort of very decorative, not her usual typical style at all. Um, so she wore that for the, this um, film shoot. And then when her engagement was announced about seven months later, of course, the first meeting became so famous, and fo those photos were used everywhere. And so there were, was a lot of talk in the um, newspapers and so forth that any girl who wanted to catch her own prince could buy five yards of material and go sew this thing and, and, and catch her own prince. But uh, certainly, it was a very different dress than her typical style, which is somewhat ironic. And I think what's interesting about that dress is when you look at it on the mannequin, it's really rather unattractive. I mean, it's, <laughs> but you see it on her and because she had, I mean, grace was such a perfect name to give her. I mean, she had that incredible grace and elegance. She, she made something cheap and very accessible look dreamy and, and elitist. And I mean, I, I keep thinking about what, what Grace Kelly would wear today. I mean, would she be that woman who would go to Zara and buy something, or, or J. Crew. I mean, it actually struck me today when I looked at it like Erdem. Yeah, it's very Erdem. <laughs> it's the very floral. Mm -hmm. But I, I think something really charming about that dress is the the flowers, and you know, she really loved flowers, and and did these floral, um, what do you call them, like Collage. the collages. And also, there's this great story about when she was going to the Oscars. I mean, she really ran out of her house to go to that ceremony, and just really was like, whatever, let's get it over with. And they stopped. Edith Head was her date, and they stopped. They went into the theater, and they stopped in front of this urn of yellow roses and she just picked an, a yellow rosebud off, off, out of the uh, vase and put it in her, in her chignon and suddenly it's a fashion statement and then again you see her wearing this floral dress. So there is a continuity there.